How did you get there, though? Because that's rare in to be so, I don't want to say laid back, I don't want to say sanguine, but have a, a broader perspective that allows you not to fall into those traps. Life. Look around outside. I go, when I first moved to out of, out of the city into a town called Uxbridge, Ontario, right after the Oscars, we went into the grocery store to buy something and everybody was aghast. Oh, that's that guy in that movie. That's the guy in the movie. And we cashed our stuff out and went. And came back a couple of days later and the woman said, you wouldn't believe the people who came over to me after. And I said, for what? And she said, they wanted to know what you bought. <laughs> I said, tell them toilet paper next time. I'd say, I said, that's just foolish. You know, but people see somebody from that, somebody in their living room on their TV screen. We're two-dimensional. We're not even us. We're somebody else. But we're doing that. And I, I just said, well, I, that's me in the TV. That's, that's not me. I'm here. I live with my wife and our cats in Stratford, and nobody cares. And, that's fine. I know a lot of people. We all say hello. Nobody's a gog, no autographs, no nothing, anything like that. It's but on the other hand, because I, 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 I agree with all that, but on the other hand, appearing on the box in that person's living room, you have been bringing them stories. And those stories have probably affected them in some way. And they remember those stories. So yeah. you've been a storyteller. <clears throat> You have a role of some importance yep. of the storyteller. And you don't tell a lot of junk. Um, I mean, you don't, you know, you're not in the soap operas doing all the blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Maybe you are, I don't know. I'd love to be in a soap. But you have, you have bring, you've been bringing stories to people. And that is, that has, I don't want to say an importance, but it has a place which is why they go, oh my God, in the grocery store, what did he buy, what did he buy? Yep. It's not like, well, maybe there are the star fuckers. Oh yeah, it's green, green. But there's other people that you <laughs> have brought, you have brought an important story into their lives and they've never yeah, forgotten it. I mean, I'd, my wife and I watched The Green Mile the other night. I gotta watch Graham and something. Well, I watched The Green Mile. And you, as the prisoner heading into the electric chair, your face and where you went with that I don't forget easily, and that's part of the storytelling of a brutal execution culture um, mm -hmm. in, in the States. And that's important for me, and you gave me that part of the story. Therefore, you have Ooh. status for me. I don't mean you're holy. I don't mean you're no, Tom Cruise not. or all that kind of stuff. Maybe you were Tom Cruise. I don't know. Hell, hell, I was in awe of you when I started in theater. Everybody yeah, said, R.H. is holy sorry. shit, man. I've seen you work. I love your work. You disappear. This this guy disappears. Every everything that he does, he just disappears. He turns into that person. But you it's, do that. You did that in Green Mile. Yeah. You yeah. sat there behind. I remember the shot. You behind the prison bars, looking out. I, went, I thought, what's Graham doing in there? Because he's. You transported me to a soul of another person. I don't want to make it religious or ego. I don't mean that. Yeah. But is the power of that storyteller. 